Aloha, Cynthia Monteleone here, Fast Over 40. I'm at my home in Maui, and I'm sharing with you today how I take an ice bath. Okay, so the first thing I do actually is take a shower because I usually do it in the evening. I find it helps me sleep better. Um, so I take a shower so that way I don't have to shower again after because what I've found is that warming up too quickly actually doesn't give you as good as an effect as if you warm up slowly throughout the course of uh, the hours following your ice bath. Okay, so the first thing I do is I get my ice in either 10 pound bags or I prefer to just get a, a 50 pound bag, but I think they were out of 50 pound bags today. Um, my husband got me 12 10 pound bags. So I've got 120 pounds in this outside tub. If you do this in an inside tub, you can use um, 50 pounds and that should be plenty to cover your lower body. So the reason why I only do lower body is because I like to go longer. I like to go for 18 minutes. And I find for me that the uh, effects of the cold last longer, it lasts hours longer than if I do a three minute full body. So my preference is 18 minutes lower body. I feel like I have brand new legs. My whole body feels amazing. Um, but if I do just three minutes and I do the plunge, um, I find that I'm warmed up already within another hour or two. Whereas if I do the 18 minutes, it takes me probably like four or five hours minimum to warm back up. And I'll talk about that in a few minutes why I think that's important. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get in my tub and I'm going to run my water in with the ice still in the bags and uh, cover all the way up over my lower body above my hips. And then I'm going to take my scissors and open the bags and let all the ice out and then start my timer for 18 minutes. Okay, so um, it's still a little bit warm out because it's evening time, but I have my hoodie here in case uh, if it's actually colder, I will wear a hoodie on my upper body sometimes in my ice bag. Um, I am going to talk a little bit here. This ice has been sitting in this tub for a couple of hours and it is freezing already. So my toes are already turning a little bit pink from just standing in here. And so I'm arranging the ice so I can actually fit in first uh, along the sides. And then that way I can just cut them all open and woo, let it uh, go over my hips. So now I'm just going to fill it with, uh, with the water. My dog likes the hose, so she's she thinks I'm teasing her. So I'm just gonna um, lock the hose in and fill it up here. And let it, let it do its thing. Until it comes up above my hips. Okay, we're about ready. I've got my water above my bikini line, so almost, oh, that's my duck. She's trying to steal my ducky. She's trying to steal my ducky. Ah. <laughs> uh, so it's above, it's almost to my uh, belly button. So I'm going to stop the water and open the ice bags uh, and start the ice bath process. Some better scissors. This works better when you have two large bags only. And you can just dump them all at the same time. Definitely getting really cold. So um, the tops of my legs are turning numb right now. 
the ice bath is really good because you have uh, a lot of mental strength you need to work with so that I'm not freaking out right now and shivering. I mean, shivering actually is good for burning body fat, but um, I'm not like totally freaking out, shivering and ah, screaming. So I'm mentally processing that I have pain on the tops of my legs right now. Um, and I'm getting through that pain, just like the end of a 400 meters, getting through the pain. Uh, so the, the numbness, uh, now I'm starting to get chill bumps. I don't know if you can see it, if you can zoom in, but I'm getting the goosebumps. Okay. And um, the end of the 400 meters, there's a lot of pain too, and you just have to mentally push through it if you want to be a champion. So just, you know, get your champion mentality going. Think about how therapeutic this is. This is great for healing sore muscles. It's great for healing injuries. Uh, you don't want, because it decreases uh, the inflammation and it cleans out, what happens is it cleans out the metabolites that have built up in your bloodstream, uh, the junk, so to speak. So your veins are constricting right now. They're tightening up, vasoconstriction. And then as you warm up slowly, they open back up. So I am a fan again of the longer ice bath for a longer period of vasoconstriction and a longer period of vasodilation. Did I get them all? Okay. I got two extra over there. I'm just doing 100 pounds right now. I'm gonna save the two extra for when my daughter jumps in after me uh, so she can have a couple of fresh bags of ice. Usually I do 100 pounds for this ice tub. I'm gonna move it around just a little bit and make sure that these big chunks are all the way around the back of me. And does this hurt? Yeah, it hurts a lot actually. <laughs> pretty painful. Um, I'm also going to try to stick my toes up out of the water uh, because you don't really want the frostbite toes. Um, I'm setting my timer now for 18 minutes. Set timer for 18 minutes, Siri. <laughs> Got my little ducky to keep me company. Um, I'm going to sit up a little bit to make sure the cold water goes underneath my legs and I'm not warm on the bottom of the tub. Okay. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be numb for about two to three minutes. And then after that, I don't really feel anything. I've got my, in case I get cold or this, if this was nighttime, I got, I've got my directional force hoodie. Um, I love this one because it's got this warm fleece inside. Uh, but right now I'm okay because it's evening time, still a little warm. Um, I've got my towel ready for when I get out. And that's pretty much it. I'm already numb in my legs. Uh, it still burns a little bit, but I'm not really... Oh, he went the ducky again? Um, it's just not... It's not feeling too bad now. It's starting to go from the hurting phase to just the numb phase. Oh, does that taste good? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will sit here for 18 minutes and then I will have lobster legs when I get out and I will not do any kind of vigorous activity for the next um, hour or so. So I'll just kind of sit and chill and relax. Um, I'm not going to go walking around or moving my muscles because they're going to be really tight from being cold. Um, so earlier I said, remember, I like that it lasts longer. Um, and that's because I want more of that vasoconstriction, vasodilation. I also believe that the longer you can stay in lower body, the more um, fat burning, uh, brown fat burning capacity you'll have. Um, there are so many benefits to taking an ice bath. Another one is that your immune system uh, gets a boost from taking an ice bath. So um, if you're starting to feel some, you know, something coming on or you just want to give yourself a little extra immune system boost, then definitely consider taking an ice bath. As you can see, it's very easy. One, two, three, and we're in here and we're taking an ice bath. Okay, my timer went off uh, and I'm ready to get out. So here I go. Um, a couple things. Earlier I mentioned as, uh, as long as you can, and that means as long as you can within 18 minutes. You actually don't wanna go over 18 minutes. Um, that's long enough. And if you're doing a full body cold plunge, you really don't wanna go over three minutes. You're not gonna, more is not better in that case. Um, so I have, let me stand right here. If you can see my legs. 
and the light. I have lobster legs. They're pretty, oh, thanks Raksha. They're pretty pink and cold. Okay, so I just got out and as you can see, my legs are a nice shade of pink. Um, so just gonna lightly dry off and wrap myself up and go inside and put a nice warm uh, set of pajama pants on. Okay, so one more thing is that um, you want to take your ice bath on a recovery day or definitely wait four to six hours after your training. Don't take the ice bath um, right after you train because you need a certain amount of inflammation in order to build your muscle tissue fibers back again. Um, so you actually don't want to take an ice bath or ice at all for four to six hours after your training um, in my experience. And so uh, I had a really hard workout on the track on Tuesday um, as far as volume and intervals go. It wasn't fast times, but it was a lot of uh, work. Then Tuesday evening, I lifted lower body. And then Wednesday, I lifted upper body. And so today is Thursday and I'm taking my rest day. So I timed it so I can recover my legs for running and lower body again tomorrow. And then I'll finish with an upper body workout on Saturday. So I hope this video helped you um, a little bit with how I like to take my ice baths. Other people really prefer uh, a cold plunge tub or a freezer and they like to do the three minutes and they like to do the breathing and that's totally fine if that's what you like to do. I just find that for um, my performance and my recovery and my healing, I do better with the longer lower body version. Okay, let me know if you have any questions and uh, just put them in the comments and I will get to them as soon as I can. Aloha. Okay, it's been about eight minutes since I, maybe 10 minutes since I got out of the tub and I got my, my Christmas elf warm pajama pants on. Um, but the shiver has set in. So I wasn't shivering right when I got out of the tub, but teeth chattering. I'm shivering now. And remember, that's a good thing because that is one of the mechanisms for um, burning fat. Okay, my daughter has gotten into the ice bath. Um, she's got her hoodie on. You tuck it up under. Uh, it's a little bit harder when you do it this way because... Um, you're not getting used to the cold water first. You're just, I'm still, you can hear me, I'm still shivering. Ooh, shaking. Um, but yeah, so she's being a trooper right now. <laughs> you okay there? Let us know you're alive. What are you, <laughs> what are you doing?